time for cooking like candy and today i am going to stuff some chicken breast with some cream spinach i am going to roast some sweet potatoes and some broccolini my ingredients i have three chicken breasts ty and i usually eat one each and then we usually eat a half one for lunch tomorrow <laughs> i'm gonna use some salt some seasoned pepper um this basil and oregano mix i'm gonna use a little green seasoning for my broccolini uh, about half a stick of cream cheese i need butter got a little piece of garlic over there that i'm gonna use some sweet potatoes and some broccolini and then of course the olive oil i'm going to fill that too back up and i'm gonna use a little of this italian style cheese um just a mixture of all those cheeses all right so tune in starts now I'm going to start off by seasoning my broccolini and I want my broccolini and my potatoes to roast longer so I'm going to do these first and I'm just going to separate these in a little roaster pan I am going to saute these over the stove before I put them in the oven but I just want to kind of spread them out a little so that they all get evenly seasoned and we don't leave no cousins out you know all in the family all right you be too close so i'm gonna take this olive oil and i'm going to drizzle it across the broccolini can you watch what you're doing when you're doing this stuff sometimes i'll be close. watching these videos and they be bonus. then i'm gonna come back with some salt a little sea salt and i'm just gonna sprinkle the sea salt across this and i'm gonna do the same thing with my seasoned pepper so once I kind of get those seasoned in, I'm going to mix them a little, get that uh, olive oil across the board, and get that seasoning in there across the board. And what I'm going to do is just sear them a little bit before I add them back into this pan, okay? All right, when I say okay, saute pan, I'm going to add some butter. I already had it on so I'm going to let this butter melt down and then I am going to drizzle it with a little olive oil because I don't want it all to burn too fast then I am going to grab my fresh garlic This is gonna slice down across the top of it real quick. And how I get it minced up like that in my hand, I just slice through it and then go across it. If you ain't good with knives, don't do it because you'll cut yourself. I'll give me some minced garlic in there. Start to brown super fast. I literally just put it in there, but I ain't worried about that. Well, all I'm trying to do is get this broccoli. Um, saute it a little. If it's too hot, you can definitely reduce it. I don't really care for electric stoves, but you know, it is what it is. It's what you get. And I'm basically going to try to let these saute. You want to keep them moving because they'll start burning a little because they're cooking. Let those saute up a little bit. I turned it down some so it shouldn't be frying too hard. Alright. So you basically want to saute this until it starts to wilt a little. But you don't want to burn it. So the whole time that you got it on top of the stove, you just want to kind of watch it. Flip it a little bit. And it's going to wilt a little. And that's fine. And then once we kind of get it enough or we'll get to the point that we want it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my pan, my roasting pan. And yeah, it's on those. I love it. But these stems are still a little too bright green for me. So I'm just trying to lift uh, the little broccoli head parts up off of the eye. Yeah, I guess this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and add these in my pan. I'm going to add them just to the pan just like that. 
And then I'm going to come around it with a little of my green seasoning. And uh, season them up. So I'm going to add my basil seasoning, just a dash of them because I'm about to put them in the oven. And then I'm going to add this green seasoning only because I like green seasoning on all greens. Okay. Um, but before I put them in the oven, give them a nice little toss in that season. And kind of just give them their own little free wheel. They don't have to be perfectly straight, but kind of just spread them out. So when the heat do hit them, it's going to heat them nice and even. But pause on that real quick. Heat in the oven. And now I'm about to just chop some sweet potatoes. I kind of don't want any roasted sweet potatoes. She only likes her sweet potatoes sweet. But... Um, I'm about to make it. She probably eat a couple. And then we gonna have a mukbang. Why like you gotta eat a sloppy? I'm like not. you can, girl. So tell what are you me. Recording? Somebody said I love broccolini. I do too. Period. So I'm just gonna make some dices in these sweet potatoes. Nothing major. Kind of cut them, maybe wedge style. And just make them into some chunks. They'll cook through. Chunk, it, chunk, chunk, chunk. I'm gonna try some That's because no, I am. I'm saying that personally because yeah. I know these are good for you. And back when I was on this health thing, these are on the menu. Um, saute pan. I'm gonna add some more olive oil and uh, another little slice of butter. And I rinse my sweet potatoes off. I'm gonna dry them off a little bit and get them ready because I don't want them to cook too soft. I want them to kind of. Just get a, a little tender. Oven cooking is fine. It takes a little longer if you don't kind of help advance the process. So I like to saute them on the stove first to get them a little softer. Butter is melting. I got to turn the eye up just a little. Goes Fraser. Down goes Fraser. Adding my chopped sweet potato. If you've never tasted roasted, roasted sweet potatoes before, give it a try. You'll or like just it. do regular potatoes, y'all. Regular roasted potatoes are amazing. Oh. I'm just going to let them get this oil oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what did you say then? You okay, Mom? Yeah, something just popped me. Mm, we should have to add some brown sugar. No, we're not making that. Alright, so don't have too many because, again, it's just the two of us. And I'm just going to let those get just a, a little pinch of brown on them. They will not be cooked. I just sprinkled this base on oregano seasoning on them. And I will just kind of let them get their little um, brown on. A quick brown, though. Nothing major. I just want to kind of pierce the edges of them so when they do roast that uh crispiness from this saute it'll get hard in the oven and the middle will be nice and soft all right are done i'm gonna scoop my broccolini back because they will share the same roaster pan that broccolini is going to go back a little and then i am going to add these sweet potatoes right here And I'll let them continue to roast in the oven. But now we're going to work on our chicken breast. Take a fresh lemon and squeeze it across both sides. I love lemon juice. All right. And I'm going to let that just rest for one second. And I'm going to season up these chicken breasts. My chicken breast, but I got to find the thickest side. I used to think I needed one of those fancy tools where I was supposed to stick a hole in it and 
fill it up. I'm gonna just slice it from the thick side through the middle, but not to puncture it all the way to the back. I sliced that one through and that's nice and good. It's still pretty good and thick. This is the broccoli left on here. I washed it already. It's okay for me. So go to the thick side and just slice through it. I'm kind of holding it because I want to make sure I can feel where the knife is going. And again, this is another perfect slice for me. You don't want to go all the way through the back. You just want to lift it up some. So these are good, okay? So now I'm about to season them. I'm going to season it with some seasoned pepper. A little sea salt. On my basil and oregano seasoning. And um, I need some garlic powder and stuff. So I sprinkled a little onion powder on there, and I'm going to do a little garlic powder. I didn't do seasoning salt because, uh, I don't know, when I'm roasting vegetables and stuff, I try to eat it a certain way. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I'm going to douse the last of this little olive oil that I have, and um, I will massage these seasonings in, front, back, and in the middle. And just spread them all across the chicken. Um, I'm going to do that one too. But I, I have this olive oil with basil, garlic flavored. So it's just basically got a, some uh, herbs in it. I like to bake with those too. So I'm going to massage the seasonings in. Front, back, and in the middle. To get the whole thing seasoned up, okay? So if you look in the inside, it's lightly seasoned, and that's how I want it. Outside. Oh, bless you. Thank you. That's those seasons getting in my nose. It's not the Rona. It was me sniffing up too much pepper. All right. So those are exactly how I want them. Not too much, not too little. Um, spinach right here. And I will go ahead and add the spinach to my pan. I rinsed this pan out just a little because it was burning some. So I don't want to eat that. So I had to rinse out the old uh, flavors. Ty, are you doing a good job? Because you're working on your phone and trying to record. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Spinach is gonna uh, melt down really quickly. Go ahead and get out a squeeze of lemon juice. Sprinkle my basil, oregano, and sea salt seasoning in there. And let this cook down. It literally takes no time. You can smell that lemon juice like nobody business to smell so good on here. It takes no time to let this little spinach melt down. Once it get all the way cooked down. Who knew to this and who knew to this? Oops. When I do my cooking show, Ma, you gonna try to treat me? <laughs> all right. Tiana <laughs> is going to cook on Monday, so to see what she wants to cook on Monday. Can you give me a bigger picture because you just be showing the same spot. Can you act like a real camera person? Oh, I'm going to have to hire Ziggy. Girl, you ain't going to get that video till next year. Alright, it melted all the way down, but again, it's just me and Ty and we don't need a whole lot. So, that's all the way cook down how I want it. I will come back with like a fourth of my cream cheese. And guess what? I'm just going to start this cream cheese in this thing and let it the cream cheese melt. Yep, that's it. That's all. It's going to melt real fast. And honestly, it's probably too much cream cheese, but if it is, I'll just make a sauce with uh, the remaining of it, which is what Tiana wants anyway. Yep, get that cream cheese mixed in there. You 
can stop. Um, melt it all the way down. I'm going to add a splash of heavy whipping cream only because I want to loosen up my, um, I just want to loosen it up a little. And this ain't the only cheese that I wanted in there. So I'm doing the creamy spinach. I didn't add onions, which I usually do, um, but I didn't. So I got it to a creamy state like I like it. But I'm going to loosen it up just a little more because I'm going to add that Italian cheese in there. And that needs some type of sauce to make it so it won't be clumpy. All right. Thin that out just a little bit. And here comes my other cheese. All right. There goes my other cheese. And I actually should have made this last. I don't know why I jumped the gun and make this before I saute my chicken breast. Tyler, you let me do that. You know the dish and who did this, mom? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move this to the side. and I'm Add my chicken breasts because I just want to sear them up before I put them in the oven. So I'm going to sit these in here and just let them brown on both sides. Okay, baby. You need to call me back. All right, so I got one side to my liking. I'm getting the other side. That middle is still raw. So when we bake it is where we're going to aim for it. To get that middle better than that. But if you can look at it, I just want to get it slightly brown. Not all the way brown. All right, Kyle. I got the chicken breast butterfly so I can uh, stuff them, but I'm just going to let this inside part get some heat. They start getting thicker as you uh, cook them through. Maybe that's right. I just want to let that middle part get some heat because I don't like raw chicken. And I'm not going to let it cook that way for long because it will cook in the oven, but I got these, so I just want that middle puff part to get some uh, heat before I stuff them. And again, this one is butterfly too. So I'm going to cook both sides of it. I'm going to open it up a little and let that middle part get some heat. And then um, I'll go ahead and stuff it and put it all back in the oven. Now it's time to stuff my chicken with my spinach. So I got this chicken breast sitting up like a taco. And I'm going to take two small scoops of this cream cheese. And I'm going to just push it all the way into that pocket. Alright. Turned them sideways. But this is the one that didn't cut too well. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick a toothpick in that one. And close that one up in the areas where it didn't stick too well. Because I don't want that to come out. I'm going to stick a two piece in two toothpick in it and then I'm gonna bake it regular because I want the top to brown more so I'll pretty much stick a toothpick in all of them just to close them up stick a toothpick in that one at the that side stick a toothpick in this one on this side and then I'll let that one lay flat too but they stuffed what you think that you pay attention so I'm gonna stuff this last one. You would have let me on the team. Um, yeah, that's a mistake. I wouldn't have been mad because you called it wrong as long as you your motion technique and you knew how to do the cheer. Go ahead and stuff that one. And I am going to two pick that up and show y'all what I'm doing with them after I toothpick them. I'm dangerous, y'all. Don't do stuff while you're still in the pan. I'm weird like that. I don't really be feeling the heat. So, in other words, don't try this at home. Don't try this, but at, try this home, at home, kids. Don't mess with that. Cause I'm gonna make you a little sausage if you still want. Is the um halfway done chicken on top of these vegetables? I didn't want to put it on top of my um sweet potato. Shit, this is. Oh. Yes. This one heavy, so I'm gonna set that one right there. Okay. I am going to 
sprinkle this with some this type of cheese. Kind of more so wanted it on the stuffing part, but it's okay because I got them laying flat. I'm going to come around it with a little Parmesan cheese and a little dash of bread from Tiana. don't want bread crumbs, but she's not going to notice it. Because I'm going to make it with a Parmesan crust when it hardens in the oven. She don't ever know what I'm going. I just be Sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on top of that. That's going to get a little hard, which is fine. And then I am going to add, how are my breadcrumbs? Mm. Maybe someone came and got them in the night. Mm, I only got some panko. Mm -mm, yeah, no, please, on. please, no. All right. So this is going to go in the oven covered with some foil and I'm going to let it bake for a good 20, 25 minutes and I'll show y'all the finished product. Yes, sir. So I let this chicken sit in the oven for about 35 minutes. Don't forget to remove the toothpicks because you don't want nobody to hurt themselves. But this is our dinner today. And oh yeah, it looks good. Bon I?